Hello and welcome. My name is Diet, and thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Today, I'm going to be working on a jigsaw puzzle. The holiday puzzle I did previously reminded me of how much I enjoy puzzles. This is a CSI Stabbing Pain 750 piece jigsaw puzzle, which is about three times the size of the last one I did. The puzzle pieces are much smaller too, so I know this one is going to take considerably more time than the last. When I received this one, I wanted to start immediately, but I knew that once I started, I would not be able to put it down. I had to wait until Friday after work to dig into it for the weekend. As you can see, this is from the television series with an added bonus of also solving the crime. It comes with an ultraviolet flashlight to uncover hidden clues. In the box are puzzle pieces, a booklet, and a flashlight. There is no image to reference, so I'm on my own here. There is a story and some evidence in the booklet, but I'm really not in the mood to read all this, so I begin to look through and sort the puzzle pieces. In this case, there were solid green lines or borders which were easy to pick out and to start with. It soon became clear that these images inside the green borders were close-ups of the overall background scene. There are many textures like countertop, floorboards, tiles, food, and clothing, so I sorted some of these pieces out and soon decided to work on the edge pieces. Pretty much spent the whole weekend listening to music and working on the puzzle. It was nice to play through my records though because it does force me to take a break often in order to flip uh, or swap out for a new album. It's easy to lose track of time when putting a puzzle together and it can be hard on the body if I don't stretch often. Okay, so looking at the overall, there is a person on the floor with blood on their shirt, spilled food, broken dishes, and rat poison. Looking at it under the black light reveals a fingerprint on a knife in the kitchen and possibly something fluorescing on the food. Why stab and poison someone? It seems like a bit of overkill to me. I feel like there's a line somewhere in there for Horatio Kane, but that's the wrong series. 
clearly this isn't enough information to solve the crime, so it's time to read the booklet. I read through the story, which is like the opening sequence to the show. It describes the close-up images, at which I realize one of them is supposed to be a boot print on a bun, which I honestly could not tell that that's what it was. Now read the lab results available and tell Brass what you and Catherine have concluded. The victim died from rat poison in their food. The stab wound was serious, but not lethal. Okay, so to be honest, I see that the answer is super long and it only is revealed under the UV light. So I figure I'm just gonna go ahead and read it. I'm glad that I did because the story continues on and describes follow-up interviews with the suspects who actually confessed to the crimes. Somewhat of an improbable scenario to, to guess, so I'm glad I went ahead and just read the answer. I like the idea of having this additional whodunit to solve, but I'm not sure that the way that this was presented appeals to me. I would have liked to see the entire story depicted in the image instead of through a separate book or text to read. I think when I'm in the mood to puzzle, I'm not really in the mood to read, and maybe that's just me. But The UV light is an awesome idea, and I get that only forensic evidence should be fluorescing, but I would love to see an entirely different perspective or image unfold under the light rather than just these fingerprints. Overall, I find it to be very gloomy and a heavy image. Obviously, I mean, that's the nature of CSI. We are looking at a crime scene, but I feel like the subject matter is a little serious, a little too serious to be used in the form of a puzzle. Maybe a board or a card game or even an RPG would have been more fitting. I guess I just prefer a more uplifting and fun image to spend so much of my time looking at. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Sometime in the future, I would love to try and design art specifically for a puzzle, so I think that's why I'm overanalyzing. If you're into puzzles, let me know what type of imagery appeals to you. That's it for this video. See you next time, and thanks for watching.